Yo, welcome to video is DK the Saint and today we're reacting to a video called The Fall Off of the Backpack Kid by Lou Aista. You know what I'm saying? I don't really know what the backpack kid even does anymore. No cap. I only I, I seen like a clip of him on Kaisenat, because I don't watch Kaisenat streams respectfully. But I seen a clip of him on Kaisenat like a while back. How long ago? Like a couple months ago. And he got violated by Juski. That's all I really remember. That's the only time I really remember him. I think he used to get kicked off of stages recently. I don't really know too much, though, because I don't keep up with a backpack kid, nigga. Like, I just get my information from the, the dark web. Let's get straight into this video, my nigga. Also, I got some food. So I'm going to be eating the food while eating. Well, yeah. Viral fame is fickle. One minute Talk to me. It and the whole world can't get enough. Next, no one wants to know you. For those who garner fame off a single trend. Why the fuck did you put Drake? Nigga, stop disrespecting Drake. Nigga, nigga niggas need to stop disrespecting Drake, bro. I don't give a fuck if he's a. Nah, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> nah, blah, blah, blah. Drake makes good music, though. Stop moving. Uh, look, what I don't like about niggas disrespecting Drake is that they move like he never made good music before. The nigga's a pedophile. You can get rid of him for that. No cap. Pack him up for that. You can pack him up for that, my nigga. But stop moving like this nigga's never made good music. Because he's dead ass made better music than your favorite artist, nigga. But shit, put him in jail if you can't find a reason to put him in jail, nigga. His lawyers are too good. Type shit. And or temporary craze. The harsh realization that they're nothing more than a civilian once again, when the hype dies down, can be kind of hard to take. And at the moment, it seems like no one is more resistant to accepting that his time might be over than this guy. <laughs> Another one. Mm -mm -mm. So how did hmm. this random kid go from performing on stage with Katy Perry to Saturday Night Live, even getting his own dance in Fortnite, to having rappers kick him off stage and doing anything they can? Why? Why the fuck are you saying that shit? Like that wasn't the reason why he went viral. You're saying that shit like that was secondary. That's why he's viral. That should be the first thing you bring up. You moving like that shit wasn't the reason why he's big. And to not associate with him. It's your boy Luesta, and this is the embarrassing fall off of the Backpack Kid. And in case you're not familiar with how it all started, let me get you up to speed. Born as Russell Horning, the teenager who would soon become the Backpack Kid had an unremarkable upbringing until he launched his social media accounts. Raised by his mom, who had her own business selling bombs, and a father who was a health. I hear that properly. <laughs> Raised by his mom, who had her own business selling bombs, and a father. The fuck? This nigga, this nigga's mom is Osama bin Laden. Bombs. Cause you can't sell bonds, but he's saying bombs. What? No, I'm confused, bro. What do you? who was a healthcare professional, Russell originally made his videos under the name I Got Bars, and gradually, his unique dance moves and straight face delivery picked up traction. Initially, it was a fun thing for him to do online, and not something he imagined being able to monetize. Mm. But when Rihanna co-signed him by rehashing one of his dances mm. to celebrate her Grammy nominations, he gained 55,000 new followers in two days. From the start, there was one- Yo, Riri. Can I get a can I get a repost? Your forehead looks immaculate. Can I get a repost? Please. I need 55,000 new followers too, nigga. What the fuck? Move of his that really stood out. But soon it would become known as the flaws. The dance, it just really came to mind. Like I was just like playing around. I'll be in the flossing. Music, like, dancing, and I started song. doing it. And I was like, whoa, this has a cool rhythm to it. And so I just moved it to Instagram. Even though the Rihanna shout out provided him with a little boost in profile, it was nothing compared to what happened when Katy Perry's team got in touch Yo, and asked him to perform lie. with her on Saturday Night Live. As during her rendition of Swish Swish, Backpack Kid popped out and made his presence felt. Soon after, he was everywhere, including major news outlets and social media apps. Katy Perry. 
Perry discovered him on Instagram, mm. where he has 500,000 followers. And that was before SNL. It's called um, flossing. He's a part of a whole movement of young kids and culture and dance that are just changing the way that things go. And we're that's gonna, fantastic. We're do that. In the aftermath of SNL, flossing was everywhere. And wait, 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 wait. Isn't this that one bitch that does podcasts? Or am I tripping? She looked at me the same, so I can't, I don't know, nigga. That's no exaggeration. As time progressed, this phenomenon spread to the football field. I actually think that uh, TJ Watt on the Steelers did it, and then Matt Collins from the Eagles got a 63-yard touchdown, and he did it too. But it was really Mark Ingram's that really got my attention. Back when he first did the move on Instagram, Horner probably didn't realize it would eventually have its own Guinness World Record, with 1,154 people doing it in Kentucky to take the crown. But Russell Horner still wouldn't be a They give world records to anything now, nigga. What the fuck? What kind of world record is that? The, the, most, the most states to do a... Who gets the... Who gets that? You're giving it to the government? Who who is getting that shit? I don't I don't understand. The mayor? Why would the mayor want that? But why is that a Guinness World Record, bro? That's so useless. I spat all over my computer because I'm mad, bro. Holy fuck. Household name. Instead, he would make the fateful decision to embrace the backpack kid moniker that social media fuck. gave to him. And in an interview, he told Complex it was a conscious rebrand. Yeah, I'm trying to do my best. In all the videos, I'm trying to wear the backpack. In public, I'm trying to wear the backpack. And while this move did seem like the best thing to do at the time, his decision to take the name and run with it would come back to bite him down the line when he just couldn't escape it. Plus, there was another major problem, and that was the fact that when the world sees you as a one-trick pony, there's mm. only going to be so much of their attention you can hold before mm. they think it's over. Or worse, cringe. Mm. As 2017 continued, Backpack Kid was everywhere, but no one really knew why. Despite appearing in videos with mm, people like mm, Black Youngsta, Lil mm. Yachty, and others. And well, uh, that little nigga was hitting that shit. He said, he said, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Russell reveals he wasn't actually into rap music until he began to chase the bag. I wasn't really into hip hop when all of this first started, but then I started looking at all these other famous dancers and I was like, okay, they're all into this hip hop form and this actually seems kind of cool. So I started to get into it myself. Now able to earn the kind of money that someone his age wouldn't usually be able to get a hold of, what he began fuck? to embrace the lifestyle that his viral moment had provided him and cash in on it. That's tight. How much uh, can you get to go to a- So let me ask something. Let me so basically, let me understand some shit here. So this nigga didn't like, he didn't, he wasn't really a hip hop nigga. And solely because of the fame he was gaining from doing it, solely from the fame he was gaining, he decided to make a rap song. What was the point, my nigga? Why would he make a rap song if he, if he wasn't that much in, if he wasn't that into, fuck, I'm done talking. Club, if you don't mind. Manager shakes his head now. Manager shakes his head now. Is it an amount that you're pretty impressed by? Like, are you surprised that you're able to get that much money just I to mean, go somewhere? Compared to most 17 year olds <laughs> that don't do what I do, yes. The money that I make from just one appearance, it could take a 17 year old forever to make that much money. Was that always part of the plan? Yes. Uh, so probably five racks do music for a long time we just started to do it recently though because timing is everything in the music industry Back. completely intent on crashing in as much as he could wait music industry you are not part of the music industry brother Very, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you you are not a part of the music industry stop it you dance my right, game i'm sorry could it wouldn't take long before the kid who I'm hating I'm hating was trying to become a rapper with the track yeah that shit don't make sense earning up to 18 million nah emotion six years the track certainly got people tuned in but mm. the end result wasn't something that fans loved instead they just started roasting him for thinking it was a good idea this is what happens when you overhype the weirdo kid releasing a full EP in 2018 Backpack Kid had tried to use hip hop culture to his advantage, but yeah. beyond laughing at it, people really weren't interested. And this is—I'm not gonna lie. Like in his situation, what do you even do? Like, let's say you want to like make this longevity, like you want it to, to to last long, right? What do you even do? 
it, you, you would have to you would actually have to have a talent respectfully <clears throat> like if rapping is not a talent that you have i don't think that was a good idea for him like if he was more passionate about something else like i don't even know i don't know the nigga so i can't say but if rapping was a passion he should have realized what he was good at you get what i'm saying i feel that's a problem with a lot of niggas especially myself like shit i'm playing that's a problem with a lot of niggas like they don't know what they're really good at you know what i'm saying and like it's hard to know what you're good at at a young age because he's 17, so I understood that. So you feel me? He was 17, so he didn't really know he was good at. But, like, rapping was not his body. I don't know why he thought that shit was his body. Obviously, if he had a good engineer, his engineer could have carried him, potentially. But, like, I'm, I don't even know. I ain't gonna lie. Like, what, what would he do? Like, if somebody can tell me what the fuck was a better plan than this, tell me right now. Because I ain't gonna lie. He probably had, that was probably the best plan he could have came up with. No cap. Public opinion began to tip because while it would be hard to hate a kid for getting a shot at stardom, the fact that he wouldn't let it go and became an irritating presence on all corners of social media made it a lot easier. So with that, the trolling began. Really? Yes. I feel like you're more of like a beloved icon. Like people just think you're so funny. To an extent, but like, <laughs> have you seen too, my right? genius interview? Look, they think you're funny. But look, Adam, y'all got the same rep. I'm joking. Y'all rep is completely different. Yes, and I've it's noticed yapping, that. Yapping, yapping. Yes, okay. yes, that was going pretty viral too. I did a little interview and then, yeah. People love to see Backpack Kid fail. Did you feel like you got more support as you were growing? And then Maybe. now that you actually are like really kind of mainstream and everybody seems to know about you now, is that when you're getting the backlash? Kind of, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, at this point, I'm getting so much hate for no reason. Like, I'm, I'm just- I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Was he considered mainstream? What is considered mainstream? I'm not gonna lie, I don't, I don't even know what's considered mainstream anymore, my nigga. Because a lot of underground rappers are not considered mainstream when they literally have a lot of motion. So I don't really understand what mainstream really is, my nigga. Like, is, is mainstream just being, I don't even know, like that ass. Like, who's considered mainstream? Like, I, I, I don't, if it's Adam considered mainstream, because that nigga is not mainstream. I'm saying he, he kind of is. No Jumper is mainstream. So he is mainstream, right? But like, if he's mainstream, you can't put mainstream. Unless there's levels to it. Is there levels to mainstream? I guess there would be. But then, like, ah, maybe I'm yapping. I'm done yapping. Though. Chilling, Sami. I don't really care. But that's. That nigga's not mainstream. I'm sorry. On my page, comments wise. Mm. Eventually, users were commenting things well, I see. like, I feel like that kid really let himself being a meme go to his head. In Facts. reality, it's probably just an awkward teen who thinks everyone loves him and Facts. doesn't really know the right time or place. Facts. It's annoying. Well, Suddenly getting on the public's last nerve. It's only annoying if you make it annoying. Oh my god, Alien got a butt in our gaming world. Oh my god. Any better. Oh my god. Once it was announced that Russell was suing Epic Games. The yo, yo, Alien's got a fat. Oh my god. Yo, I can't believe bitches be posing shit like this though. I ain't gonna lie. What the fuck? Oh, that's her eye. I, I was about to say, bro. Like, yo. Like, why am I getting eye shit on my fucking timeline? Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Like, what the fuck is that? That's some crazy shit. But it's just this. It is that. <laughs> that shit look crazy. Uh, let me see how much motion this backpack kid got. Back. What even is his name now? Backpack. His name is Backpack. That's sorry as fuck. 1.3 mil. Motion man. Now he's got motion. He's got motion. Well. Oh wait. He got what? 60. What's that? Newest post. 67,000 plays. Oh, seven seven days ago. Huh. 60,000 plays again. Huh. What does he even do now? This nigga's yapping. Let me know what he's doing, bro. Holy shit. It's a Fortnite for using his flossing dance without his permission. Russell was suing Epic Games, the creators of Fortnite, for using his flossing dance without his permission. He was suddenly in the press for very oh. different reasons. Um, it was really my mom and my management that did the last. Yeah, I remember I'm this. I remember just this. A kid having fun in life. I'm just letting the adults do all the busy work. I don't really know the law like that, so I can't really say if they're like taking advantage of me or anything like that. But like from a mom standpoint, like a manager standpoint, 
they think that they're taking advantage of me. I mean, me personally, I don't really care about the money like that. I'm just kind of worried about my birthday tomorrow and I'm dropping this uh, piece. That's fire. I have, I have more stuff to worry about. While Russell and his family acted like Epic Games was using a legal loophole that prevented him from getting a huge bag, others began disputing his claims that he even invented the dance in the first place. I remember girls at my middle school doing this in like eighth grade. In no way did he invent that dance and think that was his intellectual property. Suddenly racking mm. up L after L, things yeah. will continue to get worse for the back. I ain't gonna lie, his, his mom definitely hold him in that aspect. I ain't gonna lie, like, he definitely hold him in that aspect. Instead of hitting him with a lawsuit, they could have tried him. Yeah, I don't know. Shit. I don't know. When oh. rappers began to see his presence at events as a nuisance. Because where Katy Perry once brought him in front of no a global way. audience, MCs wanted him to get away from theirs for fear of people thinking they were associated with him. For example, Ski Master Slump God politely ushered him off his stage during his Rolling Loud set. <laughs> That's fire though. At but least he did it kindly. At least he did it kindly. Civil about it was a New Jersey rapper known by Albie Al. After Backpack Kid was invited Ooh, up I'm during playing. his set on <laughs> black stage, he let it be known that he wanted nothing to do. Academics. With it. Ugh, ugh. I'm not gonna lie, bro. This nigga does the same shit every single time. I be flossing and then he hits the. That's all this nigga does, bro. This nigga has no other dance moves. How, how do you get famous for dancing and you only have five dance moves in your fucking bag? Nigga, learn some more dances, bro. That's why you fell off. You're pissing me off, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. How do you have a million followers and you get 60,000? No, nah, I'm playing. That's all. That's all. <laughs> they, they laughing at this nigga. Prizes on the stage. They have all these. I don't even know where those. All type, man. And. and you gotta fall back. You feel me? Like, I'm performing. It's, I'm, it's time for me to work. As the dust settled, Backpack Kid was getting shot relentlessly for that and tried to shoot Cult. himself some bail during interviews, Cult. claiming that if it was anyone else, then it wouldn't be such a big deal. So the guy that was promoting the event was like, get up there now, get up there now. So when I got up there, I was flossing and then some guy put like his phone in his way. And so I knocked his phone out of his hand by accident. So I knocked his phone out of his hand and he was like, get out of here, get out of here. And I was like, okay. And I just left. Like we were still on the stage. I just wasn't like right there in the middle anymore. Okay. So yes. people kind of tried to paint mm. the whole thing oh, that's what as happened. if they just kicked you off stage. Like, nah, fuck, yeah, fuck that, that dance or fuck this kid. Yes. The thing about the internet is that they always want to see your downfall. They make mm. everything positive, mm. negative. I mean, that wasn't really positive, but it wasn't really negative either. Like if it was somebody super duper famous that kicked me off, that would have been pretty bad for my image. But I mean, like... It You get, you get what you hear what he just said. He basically just said that nigga was such a non entity that him getting kicked off the stage didn't affect him in any slight, any way, or shape, or form. Wow. See, me personally, if he if I invited that nigga on my stage and, and I told him to get off and he said that to me, me personally, I would have to get back. I ain't gonna lie. Like, no nigga saying that about me personally. Like, come on, bro. Like, if I bring you on my stage and I, I'm like, you hit my phone in my, my, my hand and I tell you, yo, move to the side and you say some shit like that, I ain't gonna lie. That's a problem, gang. I, that's, just, that's, just, that's just me personally, though. Like, me personally, no nigga saying that to me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I would knock a nigga's teeth out before you fuck. Oh my god, I'm gonna slam the table, bro. Let me chill. It, it, it's really not that big a deal. Cast out of the entertainment world, even when he tried He basically to said if it was Drake, he would actually cry, but like, because you were a non entity. Me personally. <laughs> things he was known for. Backpack Kid should have really heeded the signs and moved on. This nigga got that. Bro, he, just he dance to... only knows three dances. Like, on, nigga, do some other dance, bitch. the buzz of the past with each fresh attempt to revive his career failing flatter than no three dances bro and Sorry what he did next did not help his case in any way possible from learning piano to creating a podcast oh, nah. where he said he'd be discussing his the same. experiences with mental health among other things it seems like russell is determined to to escape his past without going to as far as to actually try and start over what because deep down uh, he knows that he would never regain those millions of followers when it's hard to know what's keeping them there now in the first place if i change my name right now the backpack kid will forever just be known for that viral floss moment but i'm trying to reinvent who i am i want more and more people to realize what else the backpack kid does and if hey your name you're, you're considering yourself the backpack kid you're 22 nigga you're not a kid no more, bro. What the fuck is this nigga talking about? 
two. That ass, like, you know, how old is he? I, I, I might be lying, because that, that was, what, three years ago? He's, like, 21. Nigga, this nigga is 21 still calling himself the Backpack Kid. Nigga, grow the fuck up, bro. Nigga, change your name. The Backpack Man. Like, what the fuck? Yo, what's wrong with this nigga, bro? Nigga is living in the past, bro. Chill. Big Backpack Kid age. Let me see what I'm going. This nigga is actually 22. Lit, bro. You're living in a fantasy, bro. Wake up, bro. You're, you're no longer the Backpack Kid, bro. You were the Backpack Kid four years ago. Relax. You're older now. You're, you're a grown man. You're a grown man. You feel me? You're trying to do podcasts. You're trying to do this, that, and the third. You're no longer the backpack kid. You know what I'm saying? Stop it. That, you can't claim that name no more, gang. Respectfully. If I change my name during this transition period in my life, that'll never happen. Mostly dedicated to TikTok throat. now that his YouTube videos barely pull in a thousand views. Backpack kid just keeps putting himself in the position to take losses. At least he's working As out, bro. In a recent guest appearance on Kai Sinat's stream, Drewski and Kevin Hart basically treated him like a second-class citizen. What's your, what's your name, big bro? Backpack kid, huh? I'm sorry though, but you can't be, but you can't be 22 and nigga ask, what's your name? And you said, backpack kid. Big ass smiley event. Backpack kid. Backpack, backpack. I'm the backpack kid. Looking ass boy, this nigga freaky as hell, bro. Backpack kid, yeah, I remember him. I remember him. He was here last time. Yeah, he does. He didn't have the popcorn. He came over here, had a popcorn. He had a popcorn this time. Like he's like fucking crazy. He wanted TikTok, man. Yeah, I do yeah. what I do. Uh, he, wanted, he wanted TikTok, man. Mm. What does he play? Uh, no, he don't play shit. He, uh, oh, he do the floss. Damn. Cut that shit the fuck off. Get him the fuck out of here. And he's still playing that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, keep a hard yeah, time. Okay, I'm kind of offended, nigga. I used to play the piano, nigga. What the fuck? Actually, I I, I didn't know how to single. I didn't know how to do a single. I I only knew how to do the three ones, like the. I only knew how to do Mary had a little line. That's the only one I knew. I tried to learn, and I got bored. That shit is so boring, bro. Fucking boring. I hate that shit, bro. Sure, I like it. I nigga that shit. Hey, bro, you gonna go places, bro. Appreciate you, man. You gonna go places, here, man. Alongside his attempts to play piano, his new pivot where he's tried to become a producer has also been widely ridiculed, with users commenting things like, Is he good or bad? This, shit. this is what not acknowledging that your 15 minutes of fame are up looks like. Regularly told to just put the fries in the bag, bro, when he posts on TikTok, it seems like everyone thinks it's time for the backpack kid to retire, apart from the man himself. And for the most part, he's still taking- You know what, bro? On some real deal spiel, all these niggas telling you to give up, you can be the new staple Ronaldo, bro. Fuck these niggas, bro. As much as I was hating on you in this video, it's all jokes. Just know that. I'm going to say this. Grind, my nigga. You feel me? You can only be better than what you were before. <laughs> now, nah, real talk, though. Um, what, can, what can you even do to gain back your fame? I don't even know. I, I don't see a single clip of the backpack kid. No cap. Yeah, I, I look. You want to watch a video of the backpack kid? Just to see. I'll give him a tip if I watch the video. Fall off of the century. That's me. Left trying to rebuild where there was never enough of a foundation. See, when niggas say Bruce Drop him off fell off, this is what you expect. This nigga, this nigga fell off. Bruce Drop him off, fell off. Nigga did not fall off, bro. Nigga still makes like a hundred. In with nigga make, bro, Bruce Drop him off still makes like at least. On a, on a low on a low ball on a low ball he makes at least 20k a month that's a low ball too that ass that's a low ball 20 bands a month i don't know if he still streams though because i haven't seen him stream in a minute but like on a low ball he makes 20 bands a month this nigga is not broke he did not fall off the only time i think consider a nigga, consider a nigga fell off is when he's dead ass not making over 60k a year when he was making like immense amount even though 60k a year is still fucking fire nigga like niggas are niggas niggas like me pray for 60k a year well, I don't pray for 60k a year. I'm gonna get 60k a year. That's not that. That's not that tough. I ain't gonna lie. 60k a year is not that hard to get, bro. I'm gonna be real with y'all, niggas. But like, living in Canada, I don't even know if I want to earn 60k a year. That tax is gonna be OD, bro. I need to move, bro. I fucking hate Canada, bro. No cap. Obvious drive to succeed cannot be denied. The only problem is that he needs the public to go along. Don't give up, mud. Don't give up. And by the looks of it, most of them think that he should have remained in the past and find any attempts he makes to rekindle his brand as completely crazy. <clears throat> look at look at Stable Ronaldo. Nigga had 500 viewers 
2023. Now look at him, nigga. 20 bands. Motion, man. You feel me? Niggas is moving like... Bro, I seen a nigga on, on Twitter was like, yo, look what joining FaZe can do. And I'm looking at this nigga like, is this nigga stupid? <laughs> this nigga's been in FaZe since 2022. What is he talking about? I was so confused when he said that shit. Because that shit made me start thinking. I was like, wait. That shit made me start thinking. Like, wait, was he in FaZe before that? Was he in FaZe? Oh, no. And then I, I, I went back to look and I was like, he has been in FaZe. And I was like, oh, shit. I knew it. I was never wrong. Like, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I, I swear, didn't he join FaZe and then he slowly fell off? Isn't that what happened, or am I tripping? I feel like that's what happened. Like, he joined FaZe, you know, he had this viral moment, he joined FaZe, and then he low-key fell off a little bit, and then he came back. Or was it like, I don't know, I don't care. Too much yapping. And unfortunately, that's not a viewpoint you can reverse too easily. So that's... while he may want to be known for more than that one dance move, the chances Nigga, of that change your name, are bro. very, very slim these days. But if you're interested in hearing how a rapper can successfully make a pivot in a new career direction, you can check the video on the screen. My name is Luesta. And Which one? There's two videos on my fucking screen. And none of them. Mm, you're going to piss me off, bro. Appreciate you for the video, though. It's W video. Um, let me see what niggas are saying in the comments. This video. Him camoing on Juice. Kai and Juice keep collab stream. Had my emotions in a mixture of sadness, funniness, and pitiful. I don't know what that means. I mean, he's only 22. He's only 22. He can still be successful in life easily. Easily, the nigga's young. I mean, he was young when he was making it. So, man, bro, he's good. But he, like, give him like another two years, he'll make it. I fuck with the backpack, and I remember watching a lot. Of, I don't care. He seems like a good. I don't care. I'm not gonna lie to you. After watching this, I'm even more confused on what he did wrong for people to hate him. Um, try to capitalize on the moment. I keep waiting on that. This is why he's so bad. Moment, but it never happened. Lol. How did we all? How do we all make him famous and get mad at him for being famous? And he uh, he can actually play the piano, so he does have a talent. What's the, who's the richest pianist? Who's the richest pianist? You don't even know. <laughs> if I also look at the richest pianist, I guarantee you that nigga does not make over 100k a year. And he's probably the... Okay, that's a lie. That's definitely a lie. Um, richest uh, pianist yearly. This nigga makes $50,000. Oh my god, that's, that's not that bad. That's not that bad. What's the highest? I, what did I say? Oh my god, that's actually kind of trash. Like to be the like to be the best of the best, and you're making a hundred k. Bad looks, gang. And then if you're just if you just started, that's twenty five k. What is this? That's not a, like a real thing though. Like, let me see. This is it. Oh, he's rich as fuck. Nah, he's rich as fuck. What what, what is this though? What does this mean? It, do people actually hire pianists? I thought pianists were just like music artists and shit like that. You can hire a pianist? Why the fuck would you want to hire a pianist? What, what do you do? Nah, 100k is... That's not bad though, but you gotta be up there, bro. What the fuck? Nah, real talk. How did this nigga get here? Because I know there's no way this nigga got rich from being a pianist. Come on, bro. Let's stop it. Stop it right there. There's no way. He definitely owns like 15 businesses. Let's be honest. Oh, this nigga's fucking old as shit. Oh my god, look at this old fuck. He's 76 years old. God damn. 76? Nah, he looks he looks like 76. Angola. Um. Oh, he me. See? I feel like the only way to become a big, like to become rich as a pianist is honestly to have like like immense. You gotta be amazing, bro. You gotta be amazing and you gotta actually make like multiple hits. If you don't make multiple hits, then you gotta make multiple hits like like you you gotta be on like um Taylor Swift type of hits. Like, if you're not making Taylor Swift hits, you're not you're not touching a million in five years. I gotta I, I gotta make I gotta make that. You can definitely touch a million being a pianist in ten years. <clears throat> okay, has built eight hundred twenty million. Damn, that's motion, bro. Eight hundred twenty million is so crazy. Has made six billion worldwide. This nigga has too much money. Holy fuck, this nigga has way too much money. But who was listening to piano tracks? <laughs> what the fuck? Respectfully. Respectfully. I did not know pianists got this. I didn't know pianists could get this rich, bro. No cap. This is some crazy. This is crazy work, bro. I might have to become a pianist, bro. I, should, I shouldn't have given up. No cap. I should not have given up. Ninety. Oh my god. 
90% of pianists make 100K. Wait, I just lied. It's the 90th percentile. I don't know what that means. I, I, I don't know what that means. What does that mean? I always see that shit and I just don't know what that shit means. It's actually crazy. That's actually crazy. That's so crazy. So a top, like, that's still... Like, I'm looking at this shit like, bro, what? Like, being the top, like, being one of the best. And you make 100K. Like, you become an engineer and you make that on average. Depending on the engineer, obviously. Now you become... A, you, work for, you work as an engineer for 5, 10 years, you make it in 130, 140. Ah, Lee. Obviously, I guess being a pianist is technically easier than being an engineer. I don't know, bro. It's just like Loki. I don't know why this is so crazy to me. Because I was Loki hoping I would be wrong. No cap. Damn.